Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark. I'm Cry. And today we have 12.4.3. That's the latest software right now, and it's introducing zero nags once you have, you know, you don't have any sunglasses on and the camera can see you. So we'll be testing it out to see how well it performs in rush hour traffic. We have now our first test here, which is a difficult left turn because we have cars again making left turns, right turns. And we see already that we still have the same behavior. So I'm gonna to have to disengage because it's blocking cars right in front of us that need to make the left turn. It's supposed to be positioned like this. So they can see cars coming over here as well as we can see cars um, as well. So we can go. So I'm gonna force the car to go now. I mean, we shouldn't really cave into the peer pressure, to be honest. And it makes that switch uh, really quickly. Yeah, but this is going to close, so... And then it's going to try to zip a merge inside of here. So that was... That was not bad. That was a really, really quick uh, decision. So that was pretty yeah. good. The but only it, thing is, though, oh yeah, I had to good. disengage to make that mm -hmm. left turn because... Well, I, I was supposed to report it too as well, but a lot of things were happening at once. But um, to make that left turn, it has to position itself properly to make it. Mm -hmm. because it's blocking cars on the other side and that really gets uh, drivers annoyed and then also um, that lane was congested so but the the reaction time in terms of how quickly it switched to this lane and now it's going back into this lane it's uh it's impressive Your yeah thought? i mean um the way that you had to adjust it it kind of wasn't the exact position that's ideal because then you're also kind of facing in a direction where if you get hit from behind you go straight into the traffic but um it was pretty good actually and i was impressed how it just like swerved to the right really quickly and like fit in here and honestly i don't think it's that bad it's just that culturally here we don't really understand the, the zipper merge concept i think it tried to avoid that uh that hole the that pothole that the, the, pot um, the manhole. manhole in the ground that was strange yeah <laughs> Okay. Unless it was one of these um, pylons. We'll have to double check. So we're going s right, actually. And it's going really, really slow. Really, really slow right now. Well, this like... is a really confusing um, situation here because it wants to go over there. And the whole lane is closed off on the right side. It looks like it's it's understanding the Using the, the occupancy context, net yeah. network. So using the occupancy network, it, doesn't st it still doesn't show the pylons with this latest update. I was really hoping that it would they would bring it back, but I mean it's not it's not a big deal. Um, but understand the kind of complexity going on here. You had an intersection there that buses tend to go in to the bus station, and then you mm -hmm. have a whole right lane blocked off. You now only have one single lane to go straight and to go right. So how is the 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 new system going to handle this? In the past, it it does do all right. Uh, it actually does have a major improvement from V11 for sure. So let's go. Let's go and see. Is it going to be hesitant or is it going to do its its job and just go quickly? So it's indicating right. It has to go right now. I'm giving it some I think jewels. it's confused. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to have to disengage there. So that wasn't good. But the, the, that was a really tough scenario, though, I will say, because a lot of people get that wrong. Because one... Um, where we were where we were supposed to make the right turn i see a lot of people there making a left turn when there's like another place to do a left turn so even for people that is very confusing so i give it like a six and a half but i will admit folks if you look at our previous videos you will see that the system itself v12.3.6 it did handle that it handled that before so oh really so it kind of it's kind of disappointing to be honest <laughs> a little bit of a, yeah. a backtrack a little bit of a back back step yes so Where's usually it will go really fast around this corner here i'm checking to see okay so it's slowing down a little bit now which is a little bit better than before and i just noticed too the um the speed limit for around the corner mm -hmm. was blocked oh. by the piece of bush or something right the little leaf so it didn't really do anything in that sense and it still had a good pace yes. so i'm happy with, with that it felt safe for sure okay so we have a left turn here we have cars making uh, well going straight making right turns and it's very hesitant here it can go up into the box here but it's refusing to do that wow this is this is not good 
This is not good at all. The positioning is way off. And then it's accelerating really quickly. I could feel yeah, the wheels kind of skipping. spinning off. That's not good. So the lane positioning was really bad. And then it also, on the turn, it was accelerating way too quickly. The wheels spun out. So uh, are we on normal mode or um, average? So we are on average mode right now. Yeah, we are on average mode right now. And that because it, it's really, really aggressive, like in that in the speeding up or getting up to speed. Yes. It that corner there was really bad. I could feel the rubbers spinning in the back. Like I literally felt it skipping. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm a little bit disappointed, folks. Let me know in the comments section what do you think so far. We have to get into the left lane, and it should be getting into the left lane right now. But it's waiting, oh, and it's waiting, and it's line. waiting. No, this is terrible. Wow. Yeah, before it would get into this lane right away to make that left turn, knowing that it's congested. So... I mean, we didn't give it a full chance because it did have some room because these these people here were supposed to move up. Right. So I, I don't know. I'm indifferent to that. We might have to do this one again. I'm good. <laughs> we have this Whoa. person want to squeeze in between us now, and it handled it pretty decently. Uh, I didn't do anything. But they literally did not need to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this it's guy's looking it's away. It has to go up, accelerate. Come on, come it's on. Seeing this person as a motorcycle. Come oh, why on. is it stopping? <sighs> yeah, that wasn't good. Oh, that that was that was supposed to be a quick one, and that, that wasn't it good. Stopped. I had to intervene several times. It just seems like it it was not confident I mean, at all. I do have a point though. Where we was it gonna wait? out the the yellow because technically you're not supposed to go on the yellow i think it was going to go for the yellow but i pushed it so it could have been my error folks but usually especially whoa, whoa, whoa. i don't like how it's avoiding things so whoa. like wild <laughs> like it's trying to avoid things but it avoids it like too much almost like it impedes on the other lanes and kind of avoids in a way that's unsafe for others the other side if that makes sense yeah, I mean, I agree with that. But also, in addition, you know, you have, you know, no nag mode once mm -hmm. the camera sees me. But then I feel like I still have to put my hand close to the steering wheel. Um, like, I, I don't feel safe still. Mm. And I, 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 wish I, uh, I wish I felt differently. And then even these stops, I feel like are a little bit too Far away. quick. It's too far away. Like I have to, I have to intervene and press. No, I mean like how it stops behind cars is a little bit aggressive. Like it's a little bit too quick. Like see how, like see this, it's not gradual. It wants to go into the right lane. Um, but this person is about to make a right turn. <sighs> what is it doing? Oh, I don't like how it didn't slow down there. <laughs> Made a right turn close to an intersection, which was not safe. Behind a person who's making a right. Be behind a person making. <laughs> Who we already know was making a right from before. And then it didn't even slow down behind the person who's making a right. Luckily, they were not going to slow down anyway. Yes. But we can't guarantee that every time. Unless, you know, their, their deep learning model knows a lot more about behaviors like that than we do. We'll have to do another test. Maybe not the same route, but we can do a similar route. So I think we have to make a left turn in 700 meters. We're on the right side for some reason. Yes, and, and um, in, the, in the past it would start getting into the left side right off the bat. Yeah, with, we have with, one uh, light here. 12.3.6. I did this pretty well. A car's on the right side here. Slowing kind down. of on the line, yeah. They're okay now, I guess. But we have to start getting into that left lane because we need to make that left turn. Okay, so is this truck going to give us... Thank you. So that was good. So luckily they had a gap there. And then it's pressing brakes here for this car making a, a lane change. Meanwhile, we have someone right behind us. I mean, we are slowing down because the traffic is slowing down. But, but the, the, still, the yeah. braking was a little bit too harsh. Oh, too okay. much. So is it here we're making a left? Yes. Okay. 
It's kind of going a little fast now. Like it's speeding up, but there's a huge line. So it, it does commit to the lane change slightly better. Mm. Sometimes it would indicate left, sweep a little bit to the right, and then go again. Now it, it just goes into the lane for the most part, from what I see, what I see so far. I feel like it's not really giving the people in front enough like room. I feel like it's getting really close. I I disagree. I, I find it's a little bit too far away. Um, and now it's okay. So now it's getting confused with the lanes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that's terrible. <laughs> it's not good. I mean, you could you could have we could have stayed here, so it was fine staying in that lane. Yeah, because we're going needs to commit to a lane change and not confuse cars behind. And we can go. Like why are we why are we zooming to to stop like a few meters away? Oh, it's amusement amusement park. Here. This looks fun. Probably not open. Okay, let's see. Making this turn. Like why does this feel so wild? Like I feel like I'm in that park on a roller coaster. <laughs> it it doesn't feel controlled, no. It feels very wild. Like that right turn didn't need to be so fast. Like it's a lot of G's in different directions. That's that's what it feels like. It feels like it's not in control, essentially, yes. Yeah, and then the, when it makes the turns and stuff, it's like not really in the lines or anything. Whoa, whoa, okay. Like, is it trying to avoid the, the manuals? I, I think so. Because I mean, there's something no that we have other to, explanation for that. I think we have to test this out in more. A manhole test. A man that sounds <laughs> a little bit inappropriate for some reason. A manhole test, yes. Yeah. But, um, you know, we're just really just trying to figure out what some of the decisions it's making, if it's, like, what's the thought process behind it. I want to see what it's even going to do now. <laughs> Might stop on the side here. Oh, okay. This is actually pretty good. Okay. So this is the first time I did this. It came all the way around the roundabout. That was not bad, actually. Stop on the side. That's good. Uh, oh, wait, where are we going? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so on that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, I didn't want to mention yes. something. So uh, this is um, slightly related since, you know, the goal is RoboTaxi, right? Yes. So uh, something that people were talking about with Waymo in comparison is like, how does it stop in like in a way that makes it easy for the person to come out? And how safe is the stop? Um, location mm -hmm. so I thought it was good up until it just randomly started going <laughs> yes like it, it was it was great and then it just continued going on because this some is reason. very safe I mean you're on the grass it's, it missed the sidewalk kind of area like the, the actual stuff off zone. pavement yeah. area yeah the actual drop-off area but I mean at least the grass is safe you're on the edge it's still safe yes but then just randomly started going <laughs> overall um well, from my, my, my point of view, I think right now it, it feels like it's many steps back. Um, it does not feel in control. It's a little bit jerky, uh, especially when it's around. It looks like manholes. It mm -hmm. still has the indecisiveness when it comes to lane changes, and it's confusing cars behind. It's blocking off cars uh, when making left turns. It doesn't, mm. it doesn't... Like blocking their vision. It blocks their vision. It does not position itself properly, I and mean, we saw it consistently. But then, but then also it's blocking its own vision because if you don't make that little S turn, you also can't see. Well, like the it, pillar that's cameras. A, that's a, we don't, we're not sure on that one. That, that yeah. one, it could be that it does see it from this side and so it's safe. So it's, it, it thinks to itself, okay, it's safe. As a robot, I mm -hmm. can see what the, car, the cars are coming from, where the cars are coming from on the left side. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, it's not considering a human driver on the other side that it's blocking mm. because they can't see. What and also you're has. partially in the way of their turn as well. Yes, and, and that's really, it's, it's annoying. Um, so those things are, are still present. Uh, the only benefit I'm seeing right now, honestly, folks, is just no nags, which is, which is mm. great. It's cool, um, but it still doesn't feel like it's, it's ready. Um, mm, not soon. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel, oh, I'm hoping that we have some kind of explosion in terms of, in, in terms of it being processed and trained and stuff like that, but I I, I, I don't I don't feel I'll be right now. I, um, but we'll we'll test it out. 
if you want to see more videos because we'll be testing it out in in uh, downtown Toronto and uh, and more rush hour scenarios we will be testing it out so so hang on and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click the notification bell so you can see those future videos and what are your thoughts though it definitely needs improvement um it just felt a little wild like it, it just didn't mm -hmm. feel like like sometimes you make a, a turn and you feel a little bit too much g's and and sometimes you could kind of lose lose control almost yeah. because of that like the speed plus the direction so it kind of felt like that was not in control, which is like what you were mentioning about the mm -hmm. control. Some of the decisions were a little bit questionable. I mean, we made that, even the first turn was still impressive in how it did it, but like, why were we doing that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, why were we making that, that lane change there? Like, is it just because it's free? Is it trying to um, follow the law and go into the right lane? Like, I feel like that communication is not really clear. I didn't really see anything on the screen. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I missed anything, but there were two times when I went into the right lane when it wasn't clear why we were going into the right lane. Yeah. So I think communication could have been clear. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, we have issues with explanation and all that stuff, but for the very least, I think if it had some reasoning why it's doing that, that would be a little more clear for us. Um, and then also, like, where it's making those lane changes, I didn't really feel like were a good idea or a good choice because you're going making a lane change behind someone who's making a right turn and not slowing down is scary <laughs> for the people sitting in the car yeah. regardless if it's going to actually hit the car or not um also like when there's a lane closure on the other side is it does it make sense to go into the lane that's about to close um questionable because of you know there's a there's a cultural aspect to that as well so that one i'm not too sure um the rest yeah, I mean, it felt like not really like much of an improvement. Some things like I feel like some of the awareness like of of things being around was more was better. Like the the manholes. Um, you have to test that out. Uh, like it uh, did. It did a good job recognizing that, you know, the lane to make a right turn was closed and all that stuff in the construction area. Um, but then yes. it didn't really understand the context of like, you everyone is just gonna be in this lane and you make straight and right turns from this lane. Right. Well, not, not straight turns, but <laughs> you, you go straight or you make a right turn from this lane. So it didn't deduct that. Yeah, contextual awareness is still, still lacking. It was kind of like hit or miss yes. this time around. It wasn't like full hit, full miss. It was like both. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, that's really good feedback, and and I think what I'll do is I'll do a I'll do a reset. I'll do a reset. I'll just try to reset the system, give it the benefit of the doubt, and hope that it works better be <laughs> again. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm just disappointed, folks. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, but I'm hoping that uh, within the next couple of days, it somehow it uh, <laughs> it learns by its. <laughs> I know it doesn't do that, but. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes. And uh, we'll keep you posted on, on uh, those future videos. Thanks again for tuning in. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.